All right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel, guys. Say hello to Ren and Stimpy, Powder Toast Man, Log TV, and Choo Choo. And let's get started with today's video. So this should be a pretty fun unboxing. I'm excited for this one. And let's just crack right into it. We're going to use the Devo Stout uh, to open this box. And there's a reason for that, and you probably can figure it out. Uh, this package comes by way of the Lefty Pass Around Group. And I am very excited to check out the newest, the latest, the greatest Devo knife uh, coming my way. So, let's see what we've got. Man, this is a big box. Holy moly. Uh, now, I'm not going to know everything about this. Uh, and you know what? I could have reached out to Kev. Uh, there's some work knife balance stickers, but this one comes by way of Alex. Oh, look, I am going to know all kinds of stuff because he actually included... Uh, a piece of paper in here. So what I'm excited about, guys, is I am going to drop this unboxing on uh, the day the pre-order is dropping for this knife that you're about to see. So there's your Devo sti uh, sticker, Devo knives. Let's tell you what. Let's put these here and let's put the Devo sticker there. Yeah, you can see that. We have a Devo cloth and a Devo, um, uh, whatever you call that thing, Ranger Eye patch. Dude, I really love these cloths. I've got to get some Tempest ones made uh, like that. Very, very cool. And there's some info from Kevin and Colin. Those are your two uh, owners of Devo Knives and Designers. Now, the Stout uh, was their very first knife. And you guys know, I dig the Stout. I've got um, a um, lightning anodized backspacer on this one. Really dig it, and this is going to be a uh, nice uh, pouch, by the way. This is going to be the Stout V2, and oh my gracious, let's just do that. Woo! Okay. All right. So I didn't even plan that. That thing just cranks out of there. That is... Now, this one has a very stout detent. Kevin knew I like that, and I do, and that's good. But I got to tell you, the detent on this one is actually a little softer, but very much more, whatever the word is, fiery. It just fires out there. All right, we're going to get this one out of the way. And we're gonna, now, these are going on pre-order on August the 12th. That should be, if I did this right, I'm putting this up at 10 a.m. on August the 12th. And the pre-order is today at, I believe, 1 p.m. Yep, 1 p.m. Eastern time. Um, the pre-order price is $325 but will be in limited quantities. Retail will be $375, <coughs> but Kevin and Colin decided to offer a considerable $50 discount for those of you who will help them with the pre-order. <coughs> Man, I am choking. Uh, looks like we have some really nice micro milling on the titanium here uh, on the bolster. It is a bolster lock, as you can see. We have a wicked hollow grind. Uh, this one... If I remember, yeah, this one is a hollow grind, but man, that one is a hollow grind. That is a big time deep hollow. This one was made by QSP. Uh, let's see, I'm trying to remember. Oh, is it Best Tech? I am going to screw this up. Who is it? It does not say on this paper. Oh, come on, Kevin. Uh, I'm thinking it's Best Tech, but I'm also thinking I'm messing that up. So, tell you what, I will put on the screen right here if I'm wrong, okay? I'll pop up right here on the screen. No, the OEM is whoever. Uh, but I thought this was Best Tech. I am not sure. Um, so, I was hoping it would be on this paper, and it is not. But, uh, very beautiful knife. Look at this satin finish. You got uh, a vertical satin on the, on, the, uh, on the hollow ground blade. You have horizontal up here, and then you have vertical, actually diagonal, on that awesome uh, swedge there. You do have your poon here, uh, your harpoon, and plenty of jimping. Now, uh, yeah, there was no jimping on the original stout. Very cool that they added it. Now, I will tell you right off the bat, it looks like this is slightly thicker stock. I'm not sure. This one's crowned, and this one is not. Um, so I'm not positive, but the reason I'm guessing that is because of this crazy deep hollow. Uh, this thing is fantastic. Uh, then you have this uh, purple 
purple haze, fat carbon. You do have a reversible clip, and instead of uh, the um, wire pocket clip, you have a uh, uh, wow, a titanium clip that is reversible. Now, my understanding is. There is some way down under there that you can put a wire clip on here if you want. Let's see if it is written on here. Uh, by the way, the the uh, right there will be right-handed and left-handed versions. Um, the right-handed versions are purple haze fat carbon uh, with purple pivot collars, bead blasted titanium bolsters, and belt satin blade. Arctic storm fat carbon with blue pivot collars. Uh, bead blasted titanium bolsters and a belt satin blade. Arctic Storm fat carbon inlays with blue pivot collars and bead blast titanium bolsters and a stonewash blade. So you got the choice in the Arctic Storm of belt satin or stonewash. And White Storm uh, with satin pivot collars, DLC titanium bolsters, two tone DLC belt satin blade. Wow, that will be epic. epic. And then the left handed, you have the Purple Haze with the belt satin blade. And the Arctic Storm with the stone wash, and those are your left handed. Now, your changes actually okay. Here's your changes there will be no filler tab, dedicated right and left handed models. So, I knew there was something with that, I just couldn't remember. So, you will not see this, you'll just see a clean show side. So, if you get uh, a righty, you'll have a clean show side here and a titanium clip over here. If you have uh, a left handed version, uh, you will have a clip on this side and a clean. Uh, this side. Very cool. And of course, your lock uh, will change sides uh, based on that. Milled clip will come installed and fit into wire clip slots. So yes, you can put a wire clip, which will be provided, so you can choose whether you want the wire clip or that is epic. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to have to steal that. Sorry, guys. Uh, prototype is LMAX. Production will be Vanex. So again, 325 for Vanex, milled uh, titanium, and fat carbon. Um, yeah, pretty dang good. Now, let's look look at that drop. Holy crap. Great action. Fantastic ergos. Now, you do have on the original Stout, this thing is as square as square can be. And I'm not, not hitting on anything. It's just... I have said from the start, and Kevin knows this, that it felt thick to me, and I wish it was contoured. Well, that's what they've done here. It is slightly contoured, and it seems thinner. Let's just do this. Now, this is not a review, but since these are dropping today, I thought it would be great uh, to give. You can see, uh, look at the bolsters up here. You can really see the thickness difference there, and that's mostly because it's contoured. Uh, but it is a little bit thinner. You can see the scales are thinner. Everything. It is definitely... Uh, come on. Well, yeah, it's just because of the contouring mostly, I think. Uh, I think it's close to the th same thickness, but because it's contoured at the edges, it just looks and feels way more thin in the hand. And guys, this is what this knife should feel like. Uh, this is like a giant uh, step forward for this knife. And that detent is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Now, one of the other things I notice uh, with it closed, I mean, it looks very similar closed, but it just, that satin finish just really pops. And they took the DK off of the pivots. You just have a clean pivot and the purple collar. Uh, there is your differences there. I mean, this is a great great knife. Now, uh, the pre-order again opens uh, today at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. The price is $325 and again will go up to $375 for the production run. Definitely check it out. DevoKnives.com. Oh, by the way, let's just, I, again, I don't ever do this in a unboxing, but since they dropped today, I'll give you this. Three and a half ounces, 3.3 inch blade, a 7.59 inches overall, 4.29 inch handle, 0.13 inch blade stock, very nice, uh, 0.015 behind the edge, uh, which is fantastic. Um, I actually, that is what the jet stream is. I love that, very cool. 0.48 inch thick on the handle, and I absolutely guarantee you that's thinner than this. 
Uh, I don't know that for sure, but it feels thinner for sure. Contoured handles, titanium T8 hardware, very, very awesome. Now, for those of you that have other Devo knives, let's just do the, the full-on Devo family comparison here. So there's the original Stout and the Stout V2. Here is uh, the Mash V1. I did not get a V2, but there is the V1. I don't have a buzz, uh, so sorry about that, but very much close to the same size. Here is the Growler V1, and I don't have anywhere else to put this, but I'll tell you what, we'll move stuff around. We'll go like this, and we'll take the original Stout out of the picture for the moment, and we will put the Pony Stout up here, because I know a lot of you got Pony Stouts, and this will be very very helpful. So there you go. Uh, there are your comparisons, uh, and I hope you enjoyed that very, very much. So, Kevin, thank you so much, my friend. I wish you so much success uh, with the pre-order. Uh, I will do a full review on this, even though it's a, or a follow-up video or whatever on this. I just wanted to get this out uh, as soon as it came in uh, so that you guys would have a full video before uh, the pre-order happens again on the 12th at 1 p.m. Eastern, August 12th, 2023. Uh, DevoKnives.com. Very stinking cool. I feel like this is lighter than the original as well. Um, yeah, not, not a lot, but I feel like it's a little lighter. Uh, I am impressed. This is... Absolutely, and again, not busting anybody's chops. This is what the stout should be. Uh, I love this. Contoured, uh, by the way, great lock bar access. Really nice. Flows really well. And again, uh, I will somewhere on the screen, I will put up, uh, if the OEM is different than what I said, which was Best Tech, I will put something up and let you know. So guys, check it out, devoknives.com. Really, really appreciate it. Definitely give me a comment down below, a thumbs up, and all the things. Like, comment, subscribe, notification bell. And thank you guys so much for all your support uh, of everything we do uh, here. And thank you so much for watching the Knives Fast channel.